Welcome to the locating the epicenter of an earthquake exercise. To successfully perform this exercise, you will need to download the Google Earth Mapping Service on your desktop. See your student manual for instructions. After downloading Google Earth, download the Seismograph Locations KMZ file. See your student manual for details. Double-click on the file once it has been downloaded to your computer. The globe will go to three plotted locations. These plotted locations are the seismograph stations. Then zoom out until you can see all three plotted seismograph stations. Next, change the units of measurement on your map. To do this, go to Tools in the menu toolbar and select Options. Under the 3D View tab, find the Show Lat Slash Long box. Select the Decimal Degrees button and click OK. Then go to View in the menu toolbar and select Grid. A check mark should appear next to the grid option. The grid option adds latitude and longitude lines to the globe. Next, click on any of the three seismograph stations listed in the Places menu on the left side of the screen. A picture of a seismogram for that station will appear. The latitude and longitude is given on the bottom of the seismogram picture, next to the name of the station. Record the latitude and longitude in your student manual. Now follow steps 8 through 11 in your student manual to determine the arrival time of the P and S waves for each seismogram and the distance each seismograph station is from the earthquake epicenter. Then see the KML Circle Generator video to complete the exercise. <laughs>